Hello, this is going to be a quick video to show you how to do the basic operation of the new EPC3004 controller with the Harvest Saver R5A. So once you have power to your new controller unit, which uh, most clients will get by simply plugging the machine in, uh, the unit will come up in, in this sort of state, and right here you see this is the actual internal temperature of the dryer. Uh, this is the current set point that it's trying to use, and this bottom line here is the humidity inside the dryer. If you want to draw, run the dryer in manual mode, i.e. no timer, you simply hit F2 one time. You can, and to change the temperature, you can use these up or down keys. And once you make a change, you, have, you stop and you wait for what you change to flash. That means the controller has accepted that input. And then to turn the dryer off, uh, to run the dryer, you simply use your manual switch. Turn the dryer on. And it will run up to 167.3 degrees and stay there and run until you turn the dryer off. Um, fan speeds are still set manually. Now if you want to run the timer, uh, the timer functionality, um, push the return key once and you'll see a, a time M. This means time in minutes, and this is the time value, and it scrolls across here. Um, use the up and down arrows again to change your time setting, and this is in minutes. Um, so if I want to set it for 10 minutes, come down here to 10, it flashes, it's accepted that time. Now I can go through and preset um, my timer temperature. Uh, if I want, um, by scrolling through here, getting to SP2. Um, this is always in reference to the timer. And I can change that to 165, to 164.9. And then you can hit the return key until you get back to the main screen. So again, internal temperature, set point that it's trying to use at the moment, and internal humidity. Now if you want to run the timer, you can simply hit F2 and hit your manual on switch. And now it is currently, you can see the uh, set point for the temperature went to the 164.9. And since that's what we set for the timer temperature, you can change it manually from here if you want to. We'll go back to 165. And now while as long as SP2 is displaying here, it is using the countdown timer. Um, and as it's running, you can still see it's set for 10 minutes. One minute has currently elapsed. So that second, that second push of the button gives us elapsed minutes. Um, and so this will show us if we have a 60 minute timer, this will, and it's run for 10 minutes, this will show us 10 right here. So that shows you how far into the timer you're going. It's also a good way to check if, to reassure yourself that the timer is run. Um, you can always go back to the home screen by pushing the home screen button once. So right now, turning on the timer, it will run for 10 minutes, and then it will shut itself off. Uh, again, if you want to get out of timer mode or reset the timer, you can simply hit F2, uh, hit the manual shutoff button, because we're technically in, in manual mode now, and we can reset the timer to three minutes. Then we can go back to the home screen. We can hit F2 again, make sure the manual switch is on, and now it's gonna run on that timer setting for three minutes. So that is the basic functionality of the new EPC3004 controller.